<laughs> now listen, there's a reason that Digimon Adventure 02, the beginning, reviews are all over the place, right? Critics are saying one thing, but the audience is saying another. But if you look closer and you'll see the reality is even the audience is divided. <laughs> like we're all over the place, but this is natural, you know? It's Digimon. I feel at home right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything is as it should be, bro. But listen, y'all. I'm here to set it straight. To give y'all the truth. With an yes. yes. You might be wondering, right? Is this movie good? Honestly, it depends on what you're looking for, man. Me? You know what I'm saying? I wasn't looking for much. Just some evolutions for a guy named XV Mom, but I didn't expect it. So I went in looking for nothing and I came back with tears? What the? Now I'm not here to retell the whole movie, so we're gonna do like a quick summary. So boom, we got we got Louie and we got Ukoman. The first human and Digimon partnership. And I'm telling you, when I say that the whole movie is kind of just about learning their backstory, I'm serious about that. It starts off with a big event, that being a huge Digimon egg appearing. Uh, and then it kind of goes into 60 minutes of us learning of what that origin of that egg is. This is an 87 minute movie, by the way. But the history behind the egg ultimately explains how we got to the first partnership. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. It was interesting. And it's pretty dark. Like, it was, it was crazy to see how all this panned out. His mom was abusive, which I think is related to the fact that his dad is, like, barely hanging on there. Right, and I think that's ultimately how we get to the beginning. But this is a little bit of my hypothesis because they didn't—they didn't explain it very well. So we see his dad is not in a good state. Right, he got the little IV shit, like he's hospital bed in the house. It's not a good look. And I suspect that situation is kind of what's traumatizing his mom. She probably has to pay for those bills, but then she also has to take care of Louis, and she's kind of like spiteful at him. But it's like, bro. I'm dead. And so this just causes a resentment to Louie. She doesn't want to, though. Um, what reason why I'm saying this is because right before we see the moment of Ukoman coming to Louie, his mom, first off, the whole situation looks okay, right? Louie's upbringing doesn't look that bad, but as we're going, it just gradually gets revealed that, oh, nah, shit's not good. So at the moment before we see Ukoman appear and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't seem all that bad. She's yelled at him a little bit, nothing too crazy, until, right, this one scene. She calls out to him, she's like, Louie, I made your favorite dinner. So I'm like, oh, damn, she cooking for him and shit like that. The food looked good too, Chad, I'm trying to tell you. So Louie's like, yeah, 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 I'm coming over. She looks at him and she gets pissed off. Everything changes. She, she, I think she hits him, I can't remember. She takes off his shirt. And I'm telling you, from that moment, everything just goes downhill. We see bruises on his body. And then ultimately she kicks him outside in the cold. It's his freaking birthday. And then all of a sudden, Ukoman appears and is like, yo, Yggdrasil, King Drasil sent me, what's good? Even though Ukoman appears and saves him, it's like the positive vibes are going up, but you can tell shit's getting worse and worse and worse. Ukoman literally says he came from the crater or something like that. Regardless, it's 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 King Drizil. It's it's Igdrizil. And says, I'm gonna grant any wish. And that that's it, right? You got a, a four-year-old who's been abused. Thankfully, this kid was optimistic and positive because he easily could have been like, kill everybody. Fuck this shit. Uh, no, he says, I want everybody. Because he's like, Ukumon's like, I'm going to grant your wish. And I'm going to protect you. Louis like, shit, that sounds amazing. I wish everybody could have this. And there you have it, right? Digi Destins, the whole bond between partnership, Digimon is literally created from that wish. And that's, that's kind of the movie, guys. Like, really, that's the movie. The big egg was basically just trying to make Digitamas for everybody in the world. So then the one fight that we have is Imperial Dramon cutting it up. So it's barely even a fight because the thing didn't fight back. It went exactly <laughs> how typical O2 fights go, right? A bunch of scrubs doing... I don't know what they're doing. And then you got Impilgermon that's going to sweep. 
And that's that's what I mean, right? It depends on what you're looking for when you're coming into this movie. O2 fans naturally have a higher chance of enjoyment because it's very story driven. Um, general Digimon fans are going to be like, yo, what is this random lore idea you guys had and made it into a movie? Because there isn't a lot of reason for them to make this movie, at least right now. I don't know if there's a bigger play into all this, and that's what we're going to get into. But the worst part, chat, is the fact that the O2 cast is literally, literally side characters, right? So I don't know what that's about. <laughs> So someone messaged me on Instagram after I put on my story that I was going to see the movie and bro chat he was looking for answers and I'm trying to tell you I was determined to find him some answers. He was like does the ending lead to a third movie or new series or is it a definitive ending for the old franchise now listen i'm pretty sure in my opinion that title has a double meaning i feel like it's explaining the true beginning while introducing a new beginning a beginning that doesn't require digivices i think like i said that big egg was ukomon trying to give out a bunch of digivices to literally the whole world the the the, the history the deeper history behind it is louis birthday is on a leap year and so one of the conversations was like ukomon's like i'm gonna give you a big present because he's like it doesn't my birthday doesn't happen that often so he's like okay when it does finally truly happen i'm gonna give you a big present that big ass egg was the big present right but ultimately whenever they cut and you know stop ukomon they had a conversation louis had a conversation they they absolved all the issues meaning ukomon was finally done trying to grant his wish meaning digivices don't need to exist anymore but at the very very end right post credit scenes we do see an egg appear a right sized egg appear in louis hand basically what that told me is like, okay so the bond between humans and digimon isn't over right the digivices aren't needed like they were saying they weren't needed and again i don't know what to do with that i don't know what to do with that and i, and I think we have to take in consideration o2's initial abrupt ending or was that 01 where like it went crazy in the future whichever one that was um i think this is still trying to build towards that but regardless it just is weird it's just weird because I, I just think to last kazuna and how that one ended but reading comments online and some other people's thoughts you do see the bond for the 0201 cast it does not i don't want to say diminish but like they start doing their own thing from the uh, group perspective and the, the partner perspective i'm thinking about that one scene ty and agumon when well, agumon's like bro i'm not by the last too long i just want to hang out with ty he had kind of almost had to beg ty to hang out with him you know what i'm saying because they just had their own shit going on so it is different with the 01 cast 002 cast but still the fact that they lost them it's just weird to me bro it's just weird overall it I, I, I touched on it. If there is a bigger play in this whole story, I think a tripath would have made more sense, right? Even though Mako was kind of annoying, I felt like with that five batch release, even if all four didn't have any action, I knew at least one would, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I could get through it. And then when you look at it all holistically, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. But anyways, uh, I, I feel like there is more to this. So, like, we can't judge us too much because that's just my thoughts. It's the way that they did Last Kazuna and whatnot. They like to throw movies around. Anyways, we're just going to have to see what happens. So, with that being said, I don't even know what this was. This is my thoughts. It was the truth, but it was my thoughts mixed with a review, mixed with, I don't know, bro. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. All right. All right. I'm going to see y'all. Peace. I, I used to always say that, and I wasn't about to say it. Anyways, I'm out. Bye. I see you watching. I be chilling, said I'm trying to catch a vibe. If you think I'm funny, then you gotta press subscribe. We just getting started, see you smiling in the wild. Hey, leave a comment. Tell me how you doing. I'm just trying to lift the mood. Jim been going dummy, someone say that he's that dude. Even if you hate me, I'm just happy that you're real. Hey.